can't get your Fire TV stick to connect to your Wi-Fi, this is quite common with streaming devices and the Fire Stick is no exception. Fortunately though, I know just what you need to do to get this issue fixed. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video to not miss out on any of the fixes for this issue. Without a solid internet connection, your Fire TV stick is pretty much a glorified stub sticking out of your TV. An unstable internet can mess up and even straight up deny any access to the servers that your stick intends to connect to. You can check for any such shortcomings by running a speed test on your network through another device like your phone. Once this test is complete, check if everything's fine, especially the speed, the latency and the signal strength. If you come across any inconsistencies, try power cycling your internet router. This way, you not only get to refresh the router, but also get rid of any static charges that may have piled up over time in the system internals. All you need to do is unplug the router from the power supply and plug it back in after a minute. If signal strength is at fault here, consider repositioning the router or the fire stick closer to each other with minimum obstacles in between. Opting for a Wi-Fi extender or a mesh network could also work. If nothing works, get your service provider to check your internet. Newer generation Fire Sticks support both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands, giving you the advantage of switching the networks at your convenience if one Wi-Fi band seems to have issues like this. With the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, you get much better coverage, but the performance and the network cap are limited. Whereas on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, you get superior performance, but at the cost of coverage. If you have a dual band network router, you should have multiple Wi-Fi signals active, one each from a 2.4 or 5 GHz network by default. To switch the network on your Fire Stick, head over to the settings and select network. Select a Wi-Fi band other than the one that you're having problems with. Enter the login credentials and check for the issue now. VPNs and IP masks are great when it comes to securing yourself on the internet, but it does come with a caveat. When you connect to a remote IP using a VPN connection, your speed and latency take a hit due to the bandwidth limitation especially if you're on a free VPN plan. So if you're experiencing issues with your network, better to turn off such masks. If you've enabled VPNs, ad bloggers, and other masks network-wide, disable them as well. Now, if you still can't get your Fire Stick connected to your Wi-Fi network, try factory setting the device. In performing a factory reset, you get to revert all the system settings as well as remove bugs and errors that may have made their way into your Fire Stick. You will lose all your app data as well, so you will have to reinstall and log in back to your services. To factory reset your Fire Stick, head over to the settings menu and navigate to My Fire TV. Then select Reset to Factory Defaults and confirm your selection. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a Fire Stick that simply won't connect to a Wi-Fi. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Fire TV content like this.